June White, Eight River Ave. Um, Steve, first one's going at you. Um, it was something you just said about uh, sending that motion to the DRA and then saying there's two more steps. That was never done when that money was moved. So that money is illegally in that account. That money was, uh, no. was done wrong. Enough. It was moved. It was originally where it was. It was moved by somebody who called claiming to be Mike O'Neill. And Mike O'Neill has told us it was not him and said they needed to move it. There was never any vote. There was never any, it didn't go to legislation, nothing. It was a person calling claiming to be someone that he wasn't and telling them that they needed to change that. So I'm not sure, but I don't think we need to go back to the legislature to do something that somebody did that had no authority to do. This is when? I, w I gave you guys the paperwork a while ago. You know, the, um, that, p that piece of paper, and we all have copies of it here. Right. Um, I actually got the, perhaps a better copy than the one that you had. Mm -hmm. It's on, it's in our file up at the DRA, and the person that I talked to said, let me pull your file out. I've got, and I said, you've got a file? Yes. <laughs> Would you send me all of the stuff that's in the file? And she did. The piece of paper that you're talking about, you said, I think it was last month, mm -hmm. that you, there was part of it that you couldn't read. Right. That was the playground equipment? Well, no. The part that... In reference to what you're talking about right now, the, the person that didn't call the, the DRA, yeah, so, yeah. Um, I was able to read it, and I don't have that piece of paper in front of me right, right now, but there were two handwritten notes that were sort of, you know, like changes that were done to this on that very piece of paper that you had. You couldn't read the notes. I could read them, and it specifically talks about a, um, I believe it's Mr. Mike O'Neill, and it's, there's a signature as well, so, and the other person was Skip Windemiller when he was a commissioner. There was a motion, something that was done, okay, it was done, and it was added on to a bill up at the state, right. and it was done, okay, it was done. I have, I have more paperwork, and if you'd like, I will send you copies of the same thing that I have because you know what? It's public information. Sure. Would yep. you like I would I will make a note and I will send you all of the stuff that the DRA sent me and then perhaps take a look at it and maybe next month we can talk about this again. I was very disappointed because I thought I did what they said right. and this board made a motion and acted on it. But then after the fact they sort of pulled the rug out from under me and said, oh, um, we have to retract that. I have an email that actually says that. She had to retract what she said because I don't know if she was overstepping her authority, but all of a sudden she changed the whole story. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are. And Chuck said that he would speak to the lawyer, and so that's, I think that's the end of that for now. The, the, other, the other thing is, just so you know, when all that stuff was done, this is before you were around, Senator Preston, at the time, went over everything with the commissioners, and he put that all through. So that uh, I don't think anything was done <coughs> improperly back then when they did all this changeover thing. So I, I remember Senator Preston took the ball and went forward with it with Skip Windmill and Michael Neal. So. And then it was voted on by the precinct. I I don't remember that back when. I mean that that's a long time ago, but I'm sure it was because everything was done uh, properly. Okay. Yeah, I would. Love to see the paperwork.